what's good welcome back to the channel guys in today's video got a top 50 legends league player for you again using super dragons and it's the exact same actually account and army composition that we covered about a week ago when magic was up in the top five now currently still maintaining top 50 as we close out legends league with super dragons that army composition is six super dragons nine balloons one inferno dragon then we have nine loons coming out of the blimp and we have four total rages five freezes and one poison for the clan castle if you guys like today's video smash that like button for me if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to the channel turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming we'll get right into the action All right, so we have five replays we are going to cover today, including this first one on this anti-two-star base. The one thing I noticed that was a little different in some of these attacks is we're actually using a Flame Flinger um, instead of the Blimp, and we're sending Super Dragons in for the Town Hall. Some of these bases have been built basically anti-Super Dragons, anti-spam, so it's definitely unique to see how some of these top players are adjusting uh, by using a flame flinger and everything like that. So, and this base was absolutely melted. I think it was like a minute 12 when he placed the first true. So, these anti two star bases, as you've seen in previous videos, don't really stand a chance against uh, the splash damage and the chain damage that these electro dragons and super dragons bring to the table. And these super dragons have the ability to absolutely torch bases, especially under ra our rages. And when these defenses are, you know, linked up, where you get the splash damage, it's not even, yeah, it doesn't even stand a chance, so. So I had the king ability just finally deployed the RC. Could have actually swagged the RC on this one. Because we had super dragons left, we had a freeze, we had a poison, we still had the king ability and the queen ability when we placed the RC down. So, definitely could have swagged the RC. Uh, this base was absolutely destroyed. I've swagged RC before on some of these ba some of these style bases with super dragons just because of how quick uh, they can absolutely just torch through these bases. Alright, on this second base, we have a diamond style base. We have seen... This base often in Legends League, uh, we have the three Infernos kind of in a line, you know, lined up in between the Eagle and the Town Hall. There's definitely different variations of this base, but it's a common diamond style base that we see. Uh, the CC is also dead center with the Infernos as well. So this is going to be a base we're going to use a Flame Flinger. You can see we're going to use a couple archers over here, or a couple balloons on the archer tower that way we could take down the archer tower get the flame flinger access we actually find the tesla farm over here as well so flame flinger is going to work towards getting that eagle artillery down for us that way it's not raining down destruction on our army we're going to use the infernal dragon at two o'clock for a quick funnel down to three king queen at 12 and then the super dragons right down the middle double rage at early eternal tome to protect everything including the balloons as we push through the initial part of this base and we're going to easily take down the town hall here because i mean a couple super dragons underneath the rage are going to destroy the town hall and when they had one fly through that poison which is a super key part of this and the king and queen are going to take down the enemy king rc is going to come in for help up at the 10 o'clock area working down towards this eagle as well and the cool thing about using the flame flinger is on this back half of this attack we're gonna have these loons if we need it uh which obviously you're gonna play a huge part having nine balloons come out towards the end of these this attack in general still have the king ability still have another uh super dragon as well and we have the queen working in the middle just taking out that scatter shot so king ability is gonna get popped here shortly the super dragons actually almost takes out that rc but the king's gonna be able to finish that off and the yak is still alive at this point so yak's gonna help break through the wall and this one's just pretty much easy cleanup i mean we're not even gonna use the balloons out of the flame flinger flame flinger just keeps retargeting and lasts the entire attack but it gave some good funnel 
up here at the Eagle area. Doesn't didn't quite get to the Eagle because of the Tesla farm, but the idea was there for the flame finger to take out the Eagle. But there was just so much defenses there with the Tesla farm for the flame finger to take out. It just didn't have the chance to get straight to the Eagle. All right, on this third attack, we have this box style base. And this one's a, a unique one. Haven't seen this one yet in Legends League. All four Expos in the Town Hall compartment. We have double air sweeper pointed towards the Eagle, single in front of the CC, double scatter right next to the Eagle, all four heroes with the Eagle as well. So definitely a unique one. This is gonna be one where we're gonna use a blimp. We use an early uh, warden ability with the double rage. To get this blimp all the way to Town Hall, freeze on that sweeper. Go ahead and just rage. That way we make sure the Town Hall goes down. We also pick up the sweeper, which is going to help. We have the King of Queen at six and Infernal Dragon at nine as we push these Super Dragons through the middle of the base. And we actually got them to push right where we needed them to. We have them targeting all these defenses separately. Eagles are going, the Eagle went down, Scatters are going down. And we have a Super Dragon up here, full health working on this area uh take out a couple of these teslas with the dark storage one tesla actually rc is in at three o'clock now still have all four heroes alive which is super important as we have a free spell as well and we have a super dragon cleaning up everything on the other side still have the queen ability still have the rc ability so this one is just clean up from here which is definitely possible. You get these Super Dragons going, or Hydra, whatever attack you're using. And if you could save some of these hero, hero abilities for the end, we've said this before, you will finish off these bases with triples. The hero abilities and heroes in general are obviously your best troops. Hero abilities are very important. The Queen ability especially, if you could save that for the end of the attacks you're going to pick up triples especially if you could save a freeze as well which doesn't even need the freeze here we could swag the freeze because the queen ability is going to be able to finish off these defenses by itself so we do just save the clan castle freeze that way we don't have to ask for it in donation again all right on this fourth attack we have this box style base and this one's a little awkward um because of where the heroes are it can kind of be a little bit of a problem uh looks like we're gonna start nine o'clock with the infernal dragon we're gonna start 12 o'clock with the queen and we're actually gonna just drop the main army coming all the way across the town hall double rage early eternal tome before we even deploy the blimp so we're gonna push through both sweepers as well a little risky here but we have we have freezes for the sweepers and we obviously have rages for the main army we got the king queen working from 12 to 3 we're actually just going to blimp from the close side take a little risk with the tornado trap i guess we've seen this base enough we know where the tornado traps are and everything um if nobody's going through and changing bases and they're just copy and pasting you kind of know you kind of get the uh the feeling where some of these traps are because it kind of stays the same between some of these bases so we have one more freeze and a poison poison for these this lava hound as soon as it pops which it does and we have this uh single target inferno in the middle of the base gonna be a little bit of a problem super dragon's gonna help the rc take out the barbarian king which is gonna be huge queen's gonna get targeted by the single we do let the queen go down there we oh we had two super dragons stacked on top of each other so that actually helps Freeze down on the expo and the single, so that's going to go down. RC actually takes on the single before the ability pops, which is great because we're going to get damage on both expos. RC goes down, but we have three super dragons, and a couple of them are pretty healthy. And we have the unicorn assisting on that as well. So the super dragon's actually going to finish this one off. Sometimes we see the heroes finish it off. Sometimes we see the super dragons finish it off gotta keep us guessing with this attack strategy but it just shows you how versatile it can be well just super dragons but it can obviously triple many different ways so it does have a little versatility uh with the heroes and everything 
just have to learn the bases is the biggest thing. Figure out the bases. That way you know, just like Magic did on this one, attack from all the heroes into the eagle and use a backside blimp because it's going to be safe. All right, on this fifth and final attack, we have this diamond style base. Actually, kind of similar to one of the ones we already seen, but it's obviously rotated vertically, but it has the three infernos in a row. This one's a little different, though. Got all four expos kind of shoved in the middle of the base, and that's to kind of play against uh, super dragons as well because they're not easier accessible, so you have to get deeper in the base to destroy these air defenses. So we're going to use the flame flinger actually over here at the 9 o'clock part of the base. Use a couple balloons to take out the mortar. And then we got the main army coming in over here at 2 o'clock. King Queen working from 4 o'clock down to 6. We're going to use an early ward ability, early double rage uh, to let these dragons and balloons push into this base and get some of these defenses down quickly. King actually broke into the eagle artillery compartment, which is huge. We're going to freeze down on the expo town hall combination we do have one super dragon that's going to lock onto the town hall here so we're going to rage that super dragon up with the freeze on the town hall going to get distracted on the rc but we're going to be able to take out the rc which is huge and the scatter shot so we got a little combo with the splash damage there and that's where i've talked about before how crazy the super dragon splash damage can be sometimes uh with the value you get and the rc finishes off the town hall for us easy peasy got a super dragon left queen warden and the flame flinger so from here we are just cleaning up the space we're actually going to see the flame flinger break on this one and be able to use the balloons which is huge the other attacks we use the flame flinger we did not see the balloons break through so the balloons come out of the flame flinger they're going to target the expo and the warden and a couple teslas and there's probably no red bombs there because we had we had some super dragons go through this area so we find one seeking a couple seekings but we're not going to find a crazy amount of bombs and we still had the queen ability so this one was uh going to be smashed regardless interesting plan there use the flame flinger on the opposite side of the main army and just push right through save the rc uh for the town hall in case you need it and you know just pick up the rest of the cleanup with the queen and queen and company all right guys that's going to do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the content as always appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel had another fun video for you guys today bringing you guys another top legends league pusher using super dragons and we already saw his account once and we went ahead and contacted him again just for some more attacks because the super dragon attack obviously is very strong we covered in yesterday's video that the top four attackers in legends league finished yesterday were all super dragons and five of the top 10 were all super dragons so clearly something's working but the more we see how these top players attack these bases the better we could be with the army as well if you guys like today's video smash that like button for me if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to the channel turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming we'll catch you next time